All right, welcome back everyone. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a post request using jQuery's Ajax. We will start out by opening up our app.js file and scrolling down to the app.postroute. What we're going to do here is make sure that this route can handle an Ajax request. So I'll do that by going into this else statement right here. And what we'll do is make a if rec.xhr so that's if the request object has a XML HTTP request property then we know that we've received a Ajax request and at this point we can return JSON so we'll open up our brackets here and then we'll do a res.json and we'll send back the new to do that we got from our mongoose query so we'll type in new to do put a semicolon at the end we'll close that bracket there put an else in here and now what we're saying is if it's a Ajax request send back JSON any other type of request redirect to slash to do's so I have one extra closing brace in here I'll get rid of that and we'll save our file now let's go back over to our client side JavaScript file so that can be found in our public directory ajax.javascript and here is where we're going to write our code to make the actual Ajax request. In order for us to make our request we have to listen for a submission from a form. So we'll start out by listening for a submit on the form from the new page. We'll use dollar sign, we'll select the form, remember we're using CSS selectors here with jQuery to select HTML elements on the page and then we'll add a dot submit listener and give it a callback. Dot submit is representative of an event in JavaScript so the callback here is going to take an event as the argument but for short we'll just use the letter E. So remember E represents an event. Now that we have access to the event object we can use it here to prevent the default action from occurring. E dot prevent default and that's camel case and then we invoke it just like any other method or function with the parentheses. Now that we've prevented the form from carrying out its default behavior, we need to look for the data. So on the next line, we will use var form data is equal to, then we'll select the form using dollar sign, this dot serialize. And the serialize function is what pulls all of the input values from the form and turns them into a string. This string can be passed to the server and used to input the data from the form into the database. So now we use jQuery's Ajax to send this information to the server. On the next line, we'll use dollar sign dot post, and then post takes a couple of arguments. The first argument is going to be the URL that we're sending the request to. So if we go back over to our app.js file, we can see that the URL that we need to submit to, or the route, is slash to do's. So if we go back again to our client side JavaScript file, then we can just pass in a string value of slash to do's. Then we put a comma, and the next argument is the data that we're sending with that request. In this case, it's going to be the form data that we put inside of the form data variable on the previous line. Now all that's left to do is handle the success response from the server. We'll do that with a callback. So we'll put a comma here, and then we'll use function and pass in data as the argument, and this will be what we're getting back from the server in a successful response. At this point, we don't need to do anything with the data, so we'll just take a look at it with console.log, and then we'll pass in data, semicolon to close. Go ahead and add a semicolon to both of these closing brackets here, and save your file. So let's review what we've done. We've used jQuery to select the form, this is the form from the new.ejs page. We added a submit listener to it. We have a callback that deals with the event, the submit event. We prevent the default behavior whenever we press submit on the form. We pull the data from the form using this.serialize. So when we pass this into the dollar sign selector method, that gives us the form or whatever it was that was submitted. In this case, it's the form. So this is representative of the form 
when we call dot serialize on that object, then we get back a string that represents all of the information, all of the values from the inputs in that form. In this case, there's only one input, so we get back the information from that. On the next line, we use dollar sign dot post. This is the shortcut method to make a post request with AJAX using jQuery. It takes three arguments. The first one is the URL that we're going to submit to. The second one is the data that we're sending to the server. And the third one is the callback that deals with the data that we get back from the server. Sometimes you'll see people use the keyword or the argument response here. I chose to use data instead. Then we're just going to log that data to the console. And normally here is where we're going to use jQuery to update the DOM. But I'll show you how to do that in a later lecture. So the form over here on new.ejs is this form right here. We use the form selector and then we pull the information from the input with that this.serialize method. So now that we have everything working, let's make sure our files are saved. Then let's go over and check it out in our browser. I already have my Mongo daemon running, so if you don't have yours running, go ahead and run mongod inside your terminal. And then I have my no daemon running, so make sure that your node app.js is running or no daemon. So now I can go over to my browser and I'll go to new item. This takes me to the new page. I'll open up my developer console, command option J on Mac or control shift I on PC. Go ahead and clear it out. And now I will enter a new item. So walk the dog, create item. And you can see that it is console logged the item that we got back from the server. So if I go back to my code, into my ajax.javascript file, here's that console.log where I'm sending the data back. If I go back into my browser, here's the object that we got back. So we have the text, walk the dog, and then the other information that is assigned to the object from Mongo. This obviously isn't a single page application because our new page is separate from our home page but you can see that walk the dog was added to the home page. Normally we would have the new form here on the index. Then whenever we typed in this information and it sent that back to us, we would go ahead and use jQuery to update the DOM. So like I said, I'll show you how to do that in a later lecture, but for now, you know how to make a post request using jQuery. So I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.